Alright, what's up everybody? Um, so in this video I am going to show you uh, my way of uh, setting stops uh, and I'm gonna use this uh, example here on the Aussie dollar and how I use the ATR to do so. So of course there are multiple ways to place your stops. Uh, I prefer the ATR and I thought I'd just show you guys an example here since this is uh, this is an uh, excellent education moment here uh, uh, which happened on the Aussie dollar uh, I talked about this cipher here on the Aussie dollar on my last video so if you haven't checked that out go ahead check it out um, and you can uh, see my thought process uh, on how I set, decided to set the stops on this cipher pattern. So if you are familiar with the cipher pattern or any other uh, advanced or improved pattern, uh, basically uh, or normally uh, you would set your stops about the x-leg. Um, what I did different here is, per my rules, uh, if there are two, let me clear some of these arrows out, if there are two um, structure points right next to each other like we have in this case I will choose the higher one or the most obvious one so in this case it's the higher one um, like I said you can see my thought process on this uh, whole thing um, if you check out last, last week's video um, there, there you can basically see why I chose this point here uh, and as you can see it's because of all the structure points right here so we are here on the four hour chart we have the cipher pattern uh, normally you would uh, see the complete where the cipher completes you would go a bar uh, next to it or after it before it completes you would check out and read the ATR which reads 26 and if we check out 26 above the x leg right here you would have been boom stopped out right here All right so there is a method to the madness and I thought uh, while looking left I really want to go above this point and even this point right here um, in all fairness I wanted to go above this guy right here but by doing so uh, I, I was getting quite a bad risk reward so deciding to go above this point right here led to 26 pips boom 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 right here and you can see let's put a line in there right here and you can see I was pretty close to um, getting stopped out but like I talked about in the last video I knew that I had a lot of structure here to uh, cover me and this point I wanted to go just above this point uh, as well that all worked out since I got uh, the ATR to go above the point here and you can see that you can see that uh, it just kissed the didn't quite get to the to the stops here and finally I did achieve targets as you can see right here boom uh, you have to move your Fibonacci's according to the market so moving it right here took targets right here at the 618 Right, so not only did I uh, use the ATR as my um, as my stop, but um, I put a little thought into it. Um, like I said, this is per my rules here. I can see that this is right next to the guy, uh, the X leg right here, and that's why I decided to go above 
I mean, it's not the same. It's not the same if this were uh, looking something like this right here. If this were the market, and we would go like this. Boom, boom. I mean, it's not the. It's not quite the same here. I wouldn't. I wouldn't place my stops above these highs right here. Uh, represented in these those these arrow lines. Right, so so I hope you I hope you get the the point here. Um, so just a quick example. I want to show you guys how I do it. Um, so let's get rid of these lines. I'm gonna show you uh, the trade that I'm currently involved with. Um, so I did hold this over the weekend since it's a four-hour pattern uh, on the New Zealand dollar here. I also talked about this in the last video. You can see that we got filled right here. I actually got filled just uh, a hair lower, and this is just a perfect, perfect uh, example of, of of structure doing its thing. You can see all these arrows here, this green box, all representing structure, and you can see how we go right into it, and then we start to climb down. Uh, was a nice thing that I saw this cipher pattern in here so I managed to uh, get filled right here so I actually have moved my stops to break even so I am in a risk-free trade or almost a risk-free trade um, uh, so yeah it's just a waiting game from here um, I, I do hope that we we plummet here to targets, but I am expecting the market to push up right into those previous uh, highs right here, or this previous resistance right here, and then get to targets. So that's what's going on uh, with me this week and last week. Um, not sh not mu much more happening <coughs> in the markets. Uh, I mean, I have I have this uh, bad pattern here on the pound dollar, uh, far away from completing, uh, and and right now we're we're heading in the opposite direction. Um, the yeah, I want to show you guys the euro dollar here. I want to show you guys the higher on the higher time frames here. So if by looking left you can see this cluster right here, this pin bar right here, this guy right here, and even looking f uh, further left, you can see there's a whole lot of structure in here, especially right here. So uh, I've, I've 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 drawn in this box right here, which will be my, and I can even make it green. So this will, will will be my support area where I will try to look for some buying opportunity. Uh, I am hoping that the market will drop to at least this red line right here. In that case I can place my uh, stops below this guy right here. I don't really feel comfortable placing my stops <coughs> below any of these guys right here. Just because we can, we can easily just drop into uh, this area right here. Uh, I wanna, I wanna place my stops below uh, these pin bars or these candlesticks right here. So that would be the 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 optimum <coughs> situation of of taking a long here on the euro dollar. Obviously, we can uh, hit this hit this uh, top line here on the box and and shoot up um, but I'm really hoping that we can go a little lower my first my first uh, opportunity or not an opportunity my first area that I would consider going long on this is obviously a daily chart so I'm, I'm more considering this on a four-hour chart 
but if you're if you're day trading or, or on the lower time frames I would suggest that the first area would would be between the 1086 until I'm sorry uh, the one uh, the 1082 twos somewhere in here, somewhere in here so I would suggest looking for a or I wouldn't suggest I'm just saying that my first possible area of going long on the lower time frames would be this guy this box right here right in here so we could check down to the to the one hour right here you can see how this box is formed right here we have uh, started we did start a small um, up move before uh, the close on Friday so we'll see what happens here during the the Asia session uh, if we get a a double bottom here and if and a and a move to the upside or if, if we're just going to continue lower as you can see if I draw the the chart up this is a large area so this would be on a higher time frame uh, this green zone right in here so we could be getting some support all the way from here somewhere in this area right so I think that's about it for this video uh, just wanted to show you guys how I use the the ATR on the Aussie dollar and you can see me going going through all the, the thought process behind it if you if you check out the last video so have a great trading week I will be back posting more videos this week so stay tuned subscribe all those nice things and I'll see you in the next one